Today we need to talk about Jimin addressing armies and what happened there. We need to get into why people think Jimin and Aram will be enlisting together and then we have Jungkook's brother posting about a recent trend. But before we continue, we do have a sponsor so roll that clip. Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. I've talked about mental health a lot on this channel and I've been trying to get BetterHelp to sponsor this channel so I'm very excited to work with them. Burnout is something I've discussed a lot as well as depression and anxiety, all of which many idols and many regular people suffer with. I personally am in therapy and I also use BetterHelp too. BetterHelp is just extremely convenient. You start off by simply answering a couple of questions online and then you'll get matched with a therapist that specializes in those things that are important to you. Of course, I am not the first person to be sponsored by BetterHelp, so I'm sure you know the spiel. If you don't like your therapist or they're not understanding you, you can easily just be unmatched with them and find a new one. You don't have to give a reason and you don't have to think about making sure your new one fits within your insurance or any of that stuff. So traditionally, you have to speak with your therapist for weeks before realizing maybe they're not a good fit or what you need. Whereas BetterHelp right off the bat matches you with your needs using the questionnaire. The main reason I like BetterHelp is because you can do a video call if you're looking for more face-to-face -face connection. For other issues, it's more convenient to just do it over text. And sometimes if I'm busy, that's really the only way I can interact with a therapist. Creating that habit and showing up for yourself is what's going to help you heal. Traditional therapy is very expensive and not very accessible. We know this. For my fellow dumplings that have issues that they don't want to say out loud, but it's easier to text it, this is a great non-traditional approach to therapy. Of course, with that said, this is not a crisis line, so don't reach out to them for those types of issues. I have a link for you dumplings. Just go to betterhelp.com slash dumplings. It gives you 10% off, but also lets BetterHelp know that sponsoring this channel is worthwhile, and I'm so happy they believed in this channel to sponsor it. So please make sure to thank them and check out the link below. If you are not aware, Jungkook has been a bit of a meme lately, and it's absolutely hilarious. There was a moment in Suchita, which is Chuga's talk show, where Jungkook got up and did a cute little dance. The dance ended up going viral and many people were making edits of this dance. It was believed that on Jungkook's new TikTok account, he actually ended up liking a few posts that were fan edits of the dance. I wish I could remember which ones he liked, but currently Jungkook has made his likes private. It was at one point public. but. Anyway, it's believed that Jungkook is aware of the meme and actually thinks it's very funny. One meme that was believed to be liked by Jungkook was one where Jungkook does the spin that he does in Permission to Dance, and then it has the helicopter helicopter audio in the back, and Jungkook spins all the way to the moon to do the dance. The meme got even bigger when Jungkook's brother allegedly took a fan edit of this meme and posted it to his story. Now there's a lot of controversy around if Jungkook's brother's account is a public account and if the account should be shared. And the fact that his username keeps changing. So I actually cannot nor have I tried to locate that account. I'm going by what people say online, so take it with a grain of salt. Now apparently the brother reposted a fan edit to the Instagram story and the end was Jungkook entering Britain's Got Talent and he did the little dance and everyone stood up and cheered. This was absolutely hilarious, especially after Sofia Vergara said that's very good. I don't know for what, but it's very good. Jungkook's brother then allegedly went even further with the meme to draw an animation of Jungkook's little dance. Now, I don't know if he did the animation or if it was another fan edit that he reposted, but I think he did it. He did the entire animation dance and even took the audio from Suchita's clip and it was perfect. People believe this was Jungkook's brother's message that both him and Jungkook have gotten the message. They have understood the meme. Of course, it's moments like this that I actually think makes the boys extremely happy that they are famous, right? Who can deny these are fun moments and even moments where the boys go back home and laugh about these moments. These are also moments where they can connect with the fandom better and bond over the silly little memes. So when BTS thanks ARMYs for everything they've done, they're talking about people buying their album, all those things of course, but then also talking about moments where they become a meme and feel seen. Jimin also very publicly thanked ARMYs many times before. Jimin specifically thanking ARMYs is a bit controversial because Jimin gets a lot of hate and a lot of that is from within the fandom. However, Jimin also gets very intense support and anyone that even slightly 
looks at Jimin the wrong way is going to get intense backlash online. So it's what I call signing a deal with the devil. You'll have your positives and your negatives and they're both on extreme ends. But it's good to know that Jimin does love ARMY so much. During a live stream that BTS did a little while ago, Jimin decided that it would be best and quite fun as the other members were entertaining everyone to go ahead and write something in the air. Of course, if you're just watching this, it becomes pretty hard to figure out exactly what he's writing in the air, but one army took the clip and drew out exactly what he was trying to spell, and he spelled out army. The only thing I think he wasn't trying to do was make A appear like a star. I think he was just moving his hand there and in that direction and the person who edited it made the video appear like he drew a line. But either way, it's super cute and I really love that BTS members dropped these easter eggs here and there. It's a way for when armies rewatch the recording. They have something to rewatch and they have something to edit that can later be discovered and is cute. This of course is Jimin's way of calling out armies and letting armies know that he appreciates them a lot. And of course once people realize that he is doing this they probably all collapse over how cute it is. But going back to signing the deal with the devil thing, it's very weird to see the polar opposite types of people that come together to love slash hate Jimin. It's very strange. And a lot of these people do have some thought that I would consider in need of some mental help. So on the more positive side of people who support Jimin, there's people who like to infantilize Jimin. They like to think of Jimin as not even a baby, but this literal precious piece of fairy dust that if they blow too hard will die. And you'll see what I mean when I say that, because these people are so overprotective over Jimin and whatever he does. I've seen a literal comment saying that Jimin will wait until there's three members enlisted, just so that when he goes, he will literally always have three BTS members with him at all times. And yeah, Jimin could go third, but it's probably not for that reason. This idea that Jimin Jimin is this super helpless little tiny boy that needs protection is stupid. He's a literal multi-millionaire with armed bodyguards with him at all times. And this image of him as this super fragile little boy is literally just an image that was curated by the fans. This is not even something that Jimin or the company ever even hints towards. Literally none of the members require protection. Like even in this example, a stalker had sent food to Jungkook's apartment. It was likely sent because the fan was like, Jungkook needs to be protected and he's this sweet little baby just like let me send him some food so he can finally eat. And yeah, Jungkook came out and said, I can eat fine on my own. It's clear that the boys don't want to be treated like babies. There's fans literally saying Jimin or Jungkook will always be my young babies I need to protect. Meanwhile, Jungkook and Jimin are literally older than that specific fan. I understand being older or a mother feeling like BTS members are your son, but to literally be a kid yourself, take care of yourself first. So these people are the ones that are very scared to see Jimin an enlist. And then there's other people that every time enlistment is talked about, they would write below it that Jimin needs to enlist. These people just don't like Jimin or whatever it is. But all this definitely leads to the conversation of when will Jimin enlist? There's people saying that Jimin might get the part of a social worker as opposed to combat. And I think Jimin will be in combat. I think those who have mentioned that Jimin needs to be a social worker instead are people who try so hard to protect Jimin and just don't want to see him fight. The only injury he has had is his surgery for his appendix, but that's not a major surgery or wouldn't be considered a disability to make him eligible to not be in combat. But anyway, there is a conversation of when each member will enlist. It's believed that Tam just announced his album to come out in September, so there's a chance he may enlist after that. And then Jungkook might release his album this month, since Tan is believed to be going last. And so they will both finish by October or November, and then RM will go with Jimin. So this is definitely a possibility and it's one that's being speculated, but who knows what will actually happen. Do I think this is a possibility? Yes, but if something does come up, then don't expect these dates too hard. It's still malleable, and, and if it does and doesn't go like this, understand there's a reason behind the scenes. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks, just love the comment right here. Love you. Bye.